it's just that it's possible and can happen. Yeah. That's that's the real fear of it all. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, I like horror movies like that. Like it can there, there's a real life thing. Yeah, I'm a big like it. um documentary kind of person. Like I watched that one on Netflix about uh Ted Bundy and stuff. Yeah. Documentaries what? make me so sad. <laughs> yeah. What what y'all did did y'all both watch the Ted Bundy? Oh, one? I watched it. I, I got, oh yeah. There was what? one point in my life where I just got really deep into the like what was happening. Yeah. It was very interesting to me. I was like, he's kind of crazy for thinking he can be his own boy. Yeah, he, but, but and the thing is, though, like uh, one of my buddies is a comedian, and he had a joke about that, and it made sense because everybody talks about like, oh, Ted Bundy was this genius. He mm-hmm. was his very own lawyer. He yeah. represented himself. And my buddy was talking about that on stage. He's like, but he got the death penalty. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> he, he was worse. a terrible lawyer. Yeah, he got the worst possible conviction yeah. he could have. And then apparently he um, admitted to doing it all thinking it was, you know, gonna lift the sentence and it made it worse it brought yeah. the date closer yeah and it, i was like you're just making it worse my god but but it's crazy though that like you know nowadays it would be hard for stuff like that, that to, to happen. happen but back in the 70s you yeah. know it's just so easy because there was not a lot of technology and you just yeah. had to go off what you had basically yeah so well, it was really hard to catch people that's what makes me sad stuff. about like those cold case documentaries that i watch on youtube they yeah. just make me feel so bad for those people yeah. I'm like, if only, if only for one, it never but happened. But that's like, why you see like the biggest cases happen back in like the 80s, the 70s, because n- we don't have the technology, obviously, that we had today. Yeah. You know, and that stuff wasn't available for like the FBI and like police and stuff like that. So obviously, yeah. a lot of people could get away with stuff. Yeah, like fingerprints, blood tracing, all that stuff. It just. Yeah, that's why you don't have crazy. many bank robbers <laughs> yeah. nowadays too. That's <laughs> just not why you know, like a lot of things don't really happen as much as they did. Yeah. Like the, uh, it, it was pretty crazy. I watched one about that. Uh, what was the guy out there in California that they just busted a few years ago? The old man finally confessed up to it. Uh, it wasn't Zodiac. Listen, I would love to know about that though because he's still never been caught. It's probably Ted Cruz or that one guy they yeah. were saying it was. <laughs> probably Brad Pitt chilling out there, you know. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, <sighs> Golden Gate Killer, Golden Gate, whatever. Oh no, that that sounds familiar to me now. I, I am. I'm just not on it today. I got no sleep last night. So see now, I did watch oh, man, that movie same. with uh, that was about Jeffrey Dahmer, the guy from uh, his name's Ross Lynch, I think. <laughs> I know that they're cracking but, up downstairs. They say that I look like Jeffrey Dahmer. No but, way. But I, whenever my hair was grown out, I see looked it's just so like weird Jeffrey for Dahmer. me to watch that movie because the guy, the actor Ross Lynch, he played in Austin and Ellie, which is a Disney Channel show. Well, Zac Efron was Ted Bundy. That was crazy to me as well. Yeah. I was like, the guy I used to admire in High School Musical is now Ted Bundy. He done a great job, too. He did too. a fantastic job, I think.